Good morning and welcome to northern New York. How far north in New York? Well, this particular generator is a Generac 7031. It was purchased in Coxsackie, New York, which is uh, south of Albany. And it took 12 days to get here in northern New York. So, that's pretty far north. It's actually only about five hours, but uh, apparently it had to zigzag, take a shortcut through Connecticut, things like that. Anyways, not here to critique the shipping. I was in no hurry. I was just glad to get it. So, this Model 7031 means that when it was shipped, it was the generator only. Nothing else. Just what you see on the ground there. And uh, some of the questions I'd like to address, people ask if you need a pad to mount it on. It actually comes with a composite pad, which is... It's this black plastic bottom. And what that black plastic bottom does is it separates the wet ground from the metal cabinet and it's considered a pad. Now if you notice underneath I put stones because I like to remove the sod and then I like to put a stone base to allow all the generators vibrate so when they vibrate they'll dig down so they'll dig down below ground level hopefully in the stone and then not really move anymore. So right here if you can see it I have some pea stone, river stone And the stone actually fills a void. There's a small void on the underside of that composite pad. Now when they ship these, they ship them on a pallet. So if you notice in the corners, there's holes. There's a hole here. There's a hole right here. And there's holes on the back side. And that's so that they can clip it to the pallet and keep it on the pallet while it's moving. Now those holes will attract little critters. I've seen chipmunks live inside those. I've seen bumblebee hives inside those. So they make what they call a cladding and you can dress that with cladding and hopefully keep them out. And while I'm talking about that, when I remove the sod I put down a, a weed mat so weeds don't come up. Then I put the stone on top of it. Then I set the generator. I just did a video on how to do an oil change on a Generac. And in that, I discuss how to remove the front panel. Well, this newer model Generac, the front panel comes off a little differently. So I'd like to display that. This one, you don't have to lift and pull towards you. It'll come straight out. This is an 11 kW I don't know if you can see it, there's a lot of things like right over here is the battery compartment but they put a front shield on it but this whole right side will come off and you can take the right side off because the power connections are in there and it's easier to place the battery through the side than it is through that opening in the front. Another thing I've discussed in past videos is the Evolution controller. And this right here says Evolution. And instead of the toggle switch, it has push buttons. This generator has a 50 amp double pole breaker output. And the reason that is key is because when you feed the transfer switch, if you use an essential circuits panel like I did here, you don't want to go any bigger than a 50 amp. 
you're not going to get any more than you got. Now this generator set to start at 10 o'clock and if this runs a little too long you'll probably see it start. Because it came generator only, this had to be purchased separately. This is the disconnect box on the back of the house and that's liquid tight to keep water out of it and you can see it goes down before it turns and comes back up and that's so water runs off it not follows it into the unit on this end of the unit is the green light the green light just indicates that she's ready to run she's in auto she'll protect the house there's also a yellow light indicator in there and a red light indicator. Yellow means take a look, there's something wrong that may prohibit me from starting someday. And obviously a red light means there's a problem existing that won't allow it to start. And that could be that somebody's just pushed the button for the off position. This cabinet is an aluminum cabinet. They also come in steel. And from, from that generator, it goes up to that disconnect box, and then it travels 60 feet across the cellar to a transfer switch. And I have one on my truck that I will show because not everybody likes their home videotape. So I'll pause and uh, show you what that looks like. Now this is what they referred to as an essential circuits transfer switch. And this one here I don't believe is available anymore. I purchased a few of them just before uh, they discontinued them. Because to me it was probably one of the finest transfer switches I've seen. This one here is one, two, three, four. It's an eight circuit. The one I put in the house is a 10 circuit. And you can get them, uh, it's hard to say. I think I seen one for 16 circuits the last time I looked. But uh, that's all I did is I paired the equipment with what I needed. I needed the generator. I wanted a disconnect on the back of the house. And I wanted a transfer switch and uh, because it only provides 50 amps and this this house has a 200 amp panel I wanted a 10 circuit transfer switch one, <clears throat> one last thing I'd like to cover is when I put a disconnect on the back of a house if there's vinyl siding or anything right here you can buy these blocks and I like to use those and that uh, I I use the disconnect box. Obviously you can disconnect the generator if you ever have to replace it and put a new one there. But I use it for a transition to get to the liquid tight. But when I drill a hole in a house, I like to make sure that I can seal it and no bugs, no weather can get back inside the house. So I like those blocks. Yeah, let's see if she's going to start. Let's see if I'm going to have enough battery to make it to when she starts.